So, uh, <clears throat> I know I've been playing this deck a lot lately, but uh, I just really enjoy it, and I just haven't found anything with the new cards that has uh, excited me enough to want to try it. Um, I mean, obviously I threw this card in here, and it's been really good. Uh, I think it's a staple in any deck with white at this point. Just really good removal. Um, this card's been good too. Like, I don't mind the three life or even discarding a card occasionally. Um, but this deck just per continues to f to win, so that's part of the reason I haven't stopped playing it. Um, it's just a good combination of uh, strong creatures, removal spells, board wipes, and then, you know, getting the virtue out. Or most games we just win with Ren. Um, Ren's been just amazing. Um, she, you know, I think every now and then Shelly wins us a game, but it mostly, most games it's Ren. Um, this card's continued to be a good addition, just for those random turns we can get, like, draw three or four cards off it, just because it's, you know, we're attacking with lands, and, um, you know, at a certain point, once we've ramped enough with Tortoise, like, we have eight or nine lands, it's pretty easy to attack with, like, a Dread Knight, and a creature with Ren, and then another creature land, so, um, and then draw three cards, so. Happens more often than not. Um, but yeah, I'll just get into the games and let you guys let me know what you think. And as always, uh, like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Okay. Kept quite a risky hand here. But I actually think I'm going to be fine because I drew lands, my first two cards. This was my hand. Keep it. Yeah, I'm just going to... Um, Play Celestis next turn and start ramping. That's a good one. Yeah, Celestis gives me a big advantage in this matchup. As long as they don't have Terra Sunder immediately. Um, Ren gives me a big advantage too. If he plays another land here. We're at five mana. Do we want to just ramp? Because we're going to take five damage if we wait a turn. What do we? I mean, we could swing in with Fortress at any time to gain life back. So I think it's better just to ramp right now. can destroy my artifact too with Outland Liberator which is annoying so. so I think it's good to get the tortoise down. If he spends a turn doing that, that's silly. Okay, that's uh, fine. So we take five here, we swing with Ren. Next turn. And then land is good Oops. what is oh he, it's right he can sack this thing at any time and kill my Celestis. Okay. we're gonna gain a little bit of life here then we're gonna play a gliss uh, I think We had a moss with Dread Knight. He's gonna kill Celestis? It's fine. It's also annoying, but whatever. Like I said, it's a good turn for us. We can depopulate at any time if he kills Glissa. Okay, which I figured was happening. If he goes our face, this is fine. Okay, probably gotta depopulate swing with fortress. This is probably the plan here. Death cake blade is good. I could 
have swung in with the cottage there actually would have been better. That's fine. It's fine. I think we're in pretty decent shape. So he makes this sack the Blissa. That's literally fine. We're not gonna sack the Restless Fortress. It's too good. So we can literally swing it with it next turn and win, so... Or start. Do the thing. The thing that we love to do. Just swing swimming on the cottage too, but I think which is children's more important. Now we have... Cottage. We have game next turn. Unless he deals with shield drew. Textbook game for us. Ran Fortress, Cottage, Depopulate, you know, the cards that make this deck really good. He's trying to figure out how he can get out of this. Celestis would have been really nuts too, but they had an answer for it pretty early, so. Is he timing us out because he's upset? I don't know. This was a risky keep too, but we drew lands, so. But we do play 26 lands and Celestis, so I figured it would work out. Uh, especially because we had Celestis in our hand. Don't you love when you get timed out because you beat your opponent and they're salty? I think that's like one out of every three games that I win now. Because Arena hasn't fixed this to where people can't just do this. I don't know why they haven't fixed this yet. <laughs> it needs to be like maybe 30 to 45 seconds faster. So people are just more likely to concede because I'm not gonna sit here and just wait. But yeah, not a good one. Um, alrighty. Yeah, we just, I mean, he's clearly not here anymore. But uh, we're just going to plus the fortress, swing it with cottage, shieldred, and the fortress, and that should be enough. He'd have to have two go for the throats to survive this turn, if he's even still here. And then even another cool thing we could do is plus the fortress, bring out the cottage. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Well, no, we couldn't do that. But we could make it hexproof by playing another rent, so that'd be cool. All right, so this one is interesting. So we don't have any white mana, but we do have Ren, which gives us white mana. We do have a lot of removal, so. I'm gonna do it. It's kind of risky though. Ren does fix our mana though. Hopefully we'll draw some white. Okay, so they're playing against Mono Red. Which is... Okay, well that also really helps. Um, do I... I think I do want to hold up Go For The Throat though right now just because they might have a big Swift Spear here with a monstrous Okay, no. Um, I'm just gonna hold this up for next turn, actually. Just because we don't have an untapped land. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, so we're gonna kill the biggest thing here. Uh, if we draw an untapped land, we'll play Ren and swing in. If not... Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Let's see what he's doing here. What's he doing here? Um. I guess we kind of have to go ahead and do this. I feel like he has a monstrous rage, though, right? I don't want to take five. We're already at 13. Mm, he does, doesn't he? I hate that it does that. That's not good. No, he doesn't. Okay. Alright, so let's see what happens here. We did get the untapped land. Okay. So we are going to board wipe or board wipe. We can't board wipe. Okay, so we have to do it this way. Alright, now we're in decent shape. Because so now we can depopulate too. If we want to. If we want to. He's going for it, huh? Um, that means he probably has lightning strike. Yeah, I don't really want to block here. I guess I could have protected him with the rest of this cottage. Next turn is swung in and gain, gain three life that way. Okay. Okay. There's that, which feels pretty good. Alright, hopefully we can stabilize play cells this next turn. If not, we're swinging in with Fortress and gain some more life. Okay. Not too worried about Feld in here. Okay. Would really like to play Celestis. He's at nine. Um. Definitely drop this. We play Celestis. We have three mana left. The next turn we can play Celestis. And depopulate, right? Yeah. You can't kill Fortress with... Yeah, let's just go Fortress here. Yeah, Caves of Qualys is really annoying. Okay. So hopefully he... Okay, he's swinging out with two again. Okay. Land is good. Ren is even better. Especially because... We can do this. Cottage, I think. Create the token, we can gain three life, which is pretty sweet. And then we don't care if we have to block with the cottage. Get rid of the lightning strike. We're just going to hold up the life gain in case they have a way to knock us down. Also, next turn we can plus three and swing in with Fortress. 
So we could swing with Fortress with the Ran and swing with Cottage. And that should be enough for lethal. Um, I am going to block this time. I want to keep my Ren alive. I like my Ren. That's fine. Land, land. Lightning strike? Or no? That card, okay. Cool. It's not that big of a deal. Another land. Transform it. Trample ward prowess. Okay. <laughs> that literally is nothing. Especially because we can just board wipe it. And that helps. So we can do this. White. White. Uh, white. Gotta love a Ren, man. We're in pretty good shape at this point. Next turn we just win with you swing with fortress. Good game. Yeah, I think we made a mistake early not by blocking with the fortress, but I don't know, maybe not, because the fortress has ended up winning what won the game for us. But you know, just another example of how well depopulate works um, with Ren and Fortress. And even Cottage. So, I mean, that's really like a lot of games. That's all you need is those three cards. And then all the other cards you play in this deck just are additional bonuses. And we were almost getting to the, um, the minus seven. Not that it would have given us too much because we pretty much just drew lands this game. And then we still had Dread Knight to draw. But Dread Knight, you know, it's not the best card in mono red matchup because they can kill it easily and drawing cards isn't necessarily good because you lose life so that's why we didn't use it but if we needed to it was there alrighty we got one white source looks like a very good keep Start off with virtue or get lost. Turn two. Oh. Hmm. Green, white. I guess we'll start with the pressure. Get a creature down, start some early pressure. If it dies, we'll just draw. Okay, similar colors to us, which is weird. I played similar colors to ourselves that recently. Okay, he's gonna kill us, which is fine. So we'll go ahead and um, the end of your next turn. We're just going to go ahead and draw. Let's see where we're going first. Another one's good. Three mana. Okay, out of line. Okay. Need a land here. Land would be good. We don't want to miss our land drops. Okay, sweet. Um... Okay, we're gonna have to use Bitter Triumph. Looks like. Um, and just lose three life, I think. I haven't even used this card yet. I think we're. 
we have a pretty solid hand here. The only thing we're missing right now is a board wipe for this. So far it looks like we're playing some kind of Abzan humans deck. But we have a lot of removal, so should be fine. Lord Skitter. Um, we don't even have anything in our graveyard, so let's just kill Adeline. We can virtue the um, Skitter next turn, and then hold up get for lo um, get lost. Okay. I don't care if we lose Bitter Triumph. Alrighty, that's a good card. Um, let's do this. This way. I think we're gonna drop a knight. The only way that's bad is if he has another Lord Skitter and it kills Bill. Then we lose the knight. I think at this point we're probably going to ramp up with Tortoise. Okay. 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 Yeah, so depopulate is going to be really nice for us here. Creature tokens you control. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not going to block this turn, but next turn I will block. I just want to play Tortoise first. Start ramping. Okay, he's got a, a cut down or something. Or another creature. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, well I guess we are going to draw with that. Um, yeah. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep drawing. We wanna find. Okay, that's a beautiful draw. Um, I think we're just gonna play another one. I think at this point we're, we do need a white source of land, don't we? Okay. Is it five mana? Cool, there's the white land. Um, now's the time to drop this boy. So we don't care if we have to depopulate it. So Virtue is our top end card that we are probably going to play soon, but we might depopulate here because they are a creature deck. Okay, so Adel yeah, Adeline, we are probably going to depopulate here. Swing in first afterwards, if they don't attack us and we block. Okay. Um, Trap, treasure token, okay. Luminous Phantom, okay. Put a 1 1 counter on that, okay. I'm gonna save our get lost because we're gonna board wipe. We're just gonna block here. Okay. Um, so we're gonna just swing in. Get our value in board wipe. Fortress is really good. I hate to lose a Ren. Maybe we can get that back later. Okay. 
Uh. Okay. Down here, draw a card. Another depopulate is great. Um, I would imagine that they have. We want to. Okay, another Gala. So he's not playing Fortress here. I think it's time to drop Shelly. Start gaining some life. We have 8 mana, so we gotta do Shelly and a Dread Knight. I just wanna have blockers before I play the Virtue. Oh, he does have a Cottage. Okay, that's not great. Okay, what are we losing here? Ren? It's fine. Alrighty. Cool. Five. Play two blockers, hold up, get lost. For the, uh, we want to basically kill the cottage. Turn, creature card. Two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Great. So we lose Shelly, which is fine. We can get Shelly back. Which mana are we at? Five, nine, so we can. I think we go ahead and kill this now. While we have the mana just to be mana efficient and use our mana, because next turn we want to play Virtue, I think. Or... Virtue, we still have. Alright, so let's. Let's try Shelly again first. Okay. Five mana. Let's play Dread Knight. Hold up, get lost for the rest of this cottage. Gala. The game. That's a good one, man. Good one. God, I love this deck. Um, it's got two early removal. Hopefully, we'll draw into land. Usually, we do. Play 26. Not, not the best hand ever, but we'll take it. Okay. Well, depopulates are great, but we need land. I think depopulates can be a great card against them. But do we need the, the land? Okay, we're playing enchantments. Okay, enchantments is fine as long as we draw land. Okay, there's land. Um, that tapped. I think we're just going to kill the naturalist. Yeah, 
little bit of life. Um, a couple toxics not gonna kill anybody. Okay. We can always take this out next turn if we need to, but I... Okay. Alrighty then. Ren is going to die. We don't have our white sources yet, do we? This also does divert us. I think we're just going to kill this and get rid of the toxic. He has to draw a card. Does fix our mana, it also gives us creatures. We really just need to draw a fourth land here, and I think we'll, we should be fine. I mean, we have so many depopulates. Fever of Harmony. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. Get rid of this scroll while we can. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on here. One card in hand. Okay. I guess a draw card is fine. Okay. Not the greatest. We're gonna take a decent amount of damage here. Okay. Really don't want to take five damage. Yeah. That stupid card is on top of his deck. Yeah, he's definitely hitting us for a lot here. We really need to find land. Okay, there's the land. Sweet. Okay. I think we're just gonna be uh, probably Let's see. How do... I can't remember how this card works. Remember, he cast enchantments though. Gets a plus one one. So hopefully, he just plays two creatures here and we just wipe the board. Okay. Um, Tortoise is good. We can just block with Tortoise too, I think. Could swing in with the Restless Cottage as well. I think we're gonna play Tortoise right now. Try to find lands. Lands are good. Okay. I love land. Land is good. Um, depending on what he's doing with Kami here. Nothing. Okay, so... Another tortoise is great. We're gonna swing out this one first, then. I'm just gonna try to get fill our graveyard with things. Okay. Another land is great. Okay. Okay, there's more creatures. I think I really care about taking three damage here. We have a fortress now. Um, I'm trying to think, does he, do they have spells? Yeah, let's just block. Because they might have spells that, like, um, that's a good card to find here. Okay, so we're gonna. 
don't really care about depopulating here. I think we're gonna swing with Fortress. Play Shieldred? Oh, we can't play Shieldred yet. Okay. Yeah, we can't actually. We swing with Basehu. Basehu. Another Fortress is wonderful. Yeah, I guess, I guess playing Shielder is a good idea. I also get play Virtue next turn, which is pretty sweet. I think we're in pretty good shape here. He's got to find some answers quick. We also have... Okay, that's... Whatever. That's... And sadly, that's the wrong target. Yeah. Okay. Go on face. Thinks he has a chance. We're gonna go ahead and take out the uh, the other thing. Get rid of the Kami. He can't come back and annoy us. Back another fortress. Swing in for game. Good one. This is a pretty sweet hand here. Uh, I think we're going to go farmland into Takanumu. Drop a Glissa down on two. Or drop a Dread Knight down on two, Gliss on three, I think is the plan to be aggressive. Playing against white, aggro white, I'm guessing. Yep, okay. V populates, amazing. Um, believe it or not, um, this has been a pretty good matchup for us. If they do play Thalia, I'm gonna. Okay, they didn't play Thalia, sweet. Um, if he swings in, I'm probably gonna block. Should I block or just take two here? I mean, we have a board wipe. No, I'm gonna take it. Better Triumph is good. No attacks. We're just kind of sitting tight until we get the populate going. Start holding up removal, I think, at this point. If we draw a land, that would be amazing, so we could play Dread Knight and removal. Well, they're probably gonna ossification Glissa. In which case, we can get lost the ossification next turn as a combat trick. We'll see what they do. There it is. Yeah, as expected. Okay. Swing in with the. Two one and the one two. Two three. Um I don't want to take too much damage here. So we have another Dread Knight in case we um lose this one if we don't get the land. But we got the land. So do we board wipe? Or just play Dread Knight. Kinda wanna draw. And um, I think we're gonna hold up, get lost, and get Glissa back on the board. I'm trying to want them to commit to the board before we um, play a board wipe. Okay, Intrepid adversary is a good one. Okay. 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 I'm ready. Okay. Down to three. That's a good draw. I think we're just going to, um,
Hold up Dread Knight and Better Triumph. Good board wipe here too. It's not the worst thing ever. I think I'm gonna wait one more turn on the board wipe. Yeah, because we can just we can just uh, actually just commit the board. No, no rush. No rush. If things get crazy, we'll depopulate. Okay, he's at five mana. Inkless is a brick wall. Probably get Ren down next turn, potentially. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what he does here. I think he's not thinking we're going to board wipe, which. Yeah. Resolute reinforcements and recruitment officer. Okay, see what he does here. Yeah, I don't, th I don't think we're board wiping yet. Want him to, want him to play some more. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that might be a good time to board wipe. They want one of our creature lands here. Um, I'm trying to think if now is the time. Going. I think we'll board wipe next turn. We just want him to commit more to the board here. We can block with the Takanumu and then Bitter Triumph something. Potentially. Okay. Okay. He's going for it, huh? Okay. He's doing the thing. So we go here. We'll go. Here, we'll go here. Um, do we take two here? I'm trying to think if we take two here. Hmm. No. Let's just let's just Triumph the Knight. Or see what he does. I don't think he's expecting us to have a kill spell. Okay. Um, we'll take three life, protect the the big guy. Since we're blocking everything else. It's fine. Okay, wiped his board pretty pretty good here.
Um, I guess we kind of want him to commit that last creature, and then we'll get, just wipe the board here. See what he does, though. Like, it'd be nice if we drew a land here. That is literally perfect, but it is a turn too late. So we're going to lose one of the... Do we lose the Dread Knight here? Okay, I think we're going to draw with one of the Dread Knights, play Glissa, or just wipe, play Glissa next turn. I think we can just wipe and play Glissa next turn. Swing in. Yeah. I hate to lose the Dread Knights, but... I don't want to wipe into a Glissa, I want to wipe after some. We still have a blocker this way. Play Glissa and swing with Fortress next turn. Just start closing this game out. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, he's gonna plus the token. Gotcha. It's cute. I'm just gonna try to plus the token. Okay, anointed peacekeeper, okay. Well that doesn't matter if we um just block with if we have nothing in our hand. <laughs> so we'll just make sure we empty our hand next turn. Okay. Sweet. So, um, let's go ahead and swing with Fortress. What are we at? Six mana. He's gonna play, well, I guess, Depop. Oh, Dread Knight. Okay. Good game. Good game. Yeah, we were gonna minus seven and start playing things from our battlefield. So it would have been, yeah, any of these spells. That's disgusting. This card's so good. But yeah, the fact that we consistently beat this deck over and over again um, is why I play this deck. So everybody says this is the best deck in format, but I beat it. Well, with this deck, I haven't lost to it. I be probably beat it, I don't know, eight times now. Um, but, you know, I'm not a well-known player, so nobody's uh, copying my deck. But I think this the record of this deck is 16-1 and one now. And um, the only loss was to Mill, because Mill's bad, versus us, again. But, um... Yeah, just feels good to consistently beat this deck. I hate this deck. It's so stupid. I hate Thalia. I hate this card. I hate cards that tax you. I just think they're so cheap and boring. Um, we haven't gotten matched up against Dinos yet. I haven't played that much, but um, I feel like against Dinos, we just we have a good matchup. We have a lot of spot removal for the big creatures. We have depopulate. Like, I feel like you know we just do the same kind of game plan as Mono White. I mean, usually Dinos is a little bit slower, too, with the pressure, so that's usually fine for us. And we still have Gliss as a wall. We still have ways to gain life. Um, so. But, yeah. Y'all have a good one. Like and subscribe. I always appreciate it. And hope you enjoyed the video. And I promise my next video is going to be something different. i just been really enjoying this deck. It's just, it feels uh, really, really good. Peace.